Japan on the finish straight. So pair number three, the final the pair Japan, going out. Japan versus the Canada red armband. in the men's Tanagashi, team pursuit. Ayuto wearing the white armband. Aito Motonaga and wearing the yellow armband. Yamada Kazuha. So Starting on Japan the lineup with Arita Montanaga. Representing the country of Canada. Tanigaki Yuto and Yamada armband. Kazuya. It's David LaRue. And in the white armband, Joshua Talizin. And in the red armband, Hubert Marco. David LaRue leading the line with the yellow armband for the Canadians. We've got a lot of support here by the sounds of things. Joshua Telezin with the white band for Canada and Hubert Marcotti with the red for Canada. So Japan versus Canada in the men's team pursuit final pairing. So we're underway. The final two teams going for a podium place here at the 2023 World University Games, the winter edition in Lake Placid. Lake Placid becoming the first city to host two editions of these games. In Canada, coming out of the blocks super fast, breaking the 200 meter split, fastest of all. They're chasing a time set by the Team from the Republic of Korea, new track record, in fact, of a 4.09.62, beating the previous record by nearly four seconds. So these two teams are going to have to come at this one pretty fast right from the start. Just dropping off the pace set by the Koreans, but let's not forget, Korea did start to just seize up a little bit in the... Uh, middle phase of the race before exploding at the end. And snow's coming down a lot harder now, but uh, it's not sticking to the track is what the technical people have told me, and that's why they're able to race safely. The Canadians at the last bit were in second place. They remain in second place. And Japan have moved up from fifth into third at that particular split time. We've got to be careful about this because these two teams will pace themselves ever so slightly differently. So Yamada leading for the Japanese team. And Marcotti up the front for the Canadians. Breaking a hole through, and you see how close they are. That's just a, well, not even two tenths between them at the moment. Still sitting in second and third, but Japan uh, going ever so slightly faster now and have moved into second spot. Arito at the front for the Japanese team. He's taken up responsibilities there. And Japan still have Marcotti up the front. Blowing hard, these two teams now. Japan have taken the split lead for sure. They're just a, a thousandth of a second up on... Uh, the uh, Canadians now who have moved into second place. So Canada just dropping off a tiny bit. We come up to split number 13 and a final lap. Japan 0.6 up. Canada just dropped away but still sits sit in third place. One to go here in Lake Placid. Now, can this Japanese team maintain the speed they've got? Canada have just dropped off a tiny bit. The team from Japan looks strong as they work their way around. Can they push for the line here? 
Arito still up the front for Japan. 1.38 up. And they come around the last bend. This is going to be exceptionally close. And Canada have blown up. And look at that. Japan have done it. They've beaten the track record set in the last round by Korea by 2.1, 2.61 seconds. And a 4.0701 is enough to take the gold medal here in the men's team pursuit. Canada just started to blow up with about 700 metres to go. But they did enough to hold on for third place provisionally with a 4.11.26. The Koreans looked on. They thought they'd done enough by setting a track record. But here is Canada at the start. They looked so sweet, so, so in tune with each other, moving in synchrony. But the Japanese team also looked solid. A little slip there uh, from uh, Tanigaki. But look at them racing to the line. They still had enough to sprint over the line, break the track record for the second time this evening, and to complete uh, the uh, run that we've had here in the James Sheffield Oval at these championships with the teams and the track records being beaten in every single session. Japan confirmed with a 4.07.52 with the gold medal. Republic of Korea retired to the hot room. They raced so well, broke the track record themselves in the penultimate pair, but they have to settle for second place. And Canada just held on. And here are the times. Korea sitting in second place from the Japanese. Both teams breaking the track record. And Canada's David LaRue, Joshua Tellerson, and Hubert Marcotti, who complete the podium. And in first place, and the men's team pursuit champions from Japan. Well, Korea put down a benchmark, but it was a Japanese Arito bullet train Otonaga. that smashed the track record yet again, and they claim the gold medal top spot for Tanikaki, Yuta, Arito, Motonaga, and Yamada, Kazuya. And Yamada, Kazuya. So there are the top three, class, Canada in bronze, Republic of Korea in winners. silver medal position, Japan at the top of the pile with the gold medal here in Lake Placid.